we're already in the next match. Two SoCal PR members, Ghost on the lower end of the PR, fall in, uh, in that top five, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Kapal has definitely been incredibly consistent as of late, especially since oh, yes. getting that win on, uh, on Zero. So, let's see what he can do. Uh, this has been a rough matchup for him, at least when he goes up against uh, Larry, Larry's Fox. Uh, Ghost's not necessarily the same breed. I'm curious if Ghost is familiar with the Rosa matchup. If he's not, he's definitely going to struggle against Fallen because Fallen's played a lot of Fox. Yes, and of course, he not only does he play a lot of Fox, he spends time with Larry uh, outside of tournaments. Yeah, he's been even uh, practicing at Larry's house pretty often these days. But good start here for Ghost. As long as he can find the, the way to get rid of Luma as, you know, safely and efficiently as possible, that will give him the opportunity to actually play the neutral without getting punished too hard. Mm -hmm. But if he keeps playing the the matchup the way he's been, he, he would uh, take out Luma, and then for those uh, those seconds that Luma isn't there, he's still kind of playing the, the passive neutral game. Yeah. Now, to be fair, it's not so easy to just like rush falling down when he doesn't have Lumi. He's actually very evasive in those situations, but he definitely has to push his advantage a little bit more. Great down to the catch the illusion. That's going to be Rose's saving grace to deal with Fox uh, offstage recovery. Okay, illusion <laughs> once again. Nice tech chase. Fourth throw is actually really strong too to um, get rid of Luma. Ooh, doesn't get the sweet spot of the up air unfortunately, but that was actually a really good landing trap. Oh, Ooh, wow. an unsmash connecting onto Luma. That's a uh, dead Luma. Yeah, not the, oh, wow, what a chase. Oh, my God. That was so good from Paul. Oh, he didn't get the hitbox of down there he wanted. Yeah, it but seems like it just ended just a little wow. too early. He just <laughs> he just shielded the full jab and just up smashing for it. I mean, we'll take it. Only take it 3%. Now, I was trying to lose earlier. Um, Fox's fourth throw when Luma's next to Rosa, if he gets a fourth throw at the ledge, it actually does knock Luma um, off the stage. Oh, great dash. That oh, was the weird. platform saved. Yeah, the forwarder kind of sent Luma at a really odd trajectory. Wasn't used to seeing that. Okay, uh, Firefox to save. get across the stage. Yeah, it goes right through uh, Rose's shield and kind of knocks Luma back. But let's see what he can do here. He finally has Fallen in the air. Pinned at the ledge. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Nice shield grab from Fallen there. That was a great reaction from Fallen. And gets wow. grabbed once again. So up smash. Punishing the air dodge. I always appreciate the like the crawl back with punish um, shield grab from Fallen. Just calling out that dash attack so well. I feel like that's another thing that he gets from playing against Man Knight so much too. Because Fox and Man Knight both kind of like want to dash attack a lot in neutral. Ooh. But oh, that DI wow. was terrible. Not expecting a back air to come out from Ghost as he has been playing a little bit more defensive. I honestly think the way Fallen was drifting there, he was kind of like trying to drift back and forth, but he just wasn't prepared for uh, Ghost to hit him right there, and he was already kind of drifting the certain way mm -hmm. he got back here, so it just led to that terrible DI, and uh, that's actually a pretty good start for Ghost. Honestly, I, I was questionable of his experience in this matchup, so I immediately kind of gave the, uh, the edge to Fallen there just by yeah. experience alone. But, but Fallen does have a Fox problem. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the only Fox I've ever seen him, like, can do really well against was uh, Nick Cat. But, I don't, I don't know, there's, there's probably other, like, Fox that he's done okay against. Mm -hmm. He definitely has the right idea in this matchup. He's not necessarily getting opened up for free, but that was actually really good. Again, a really good roll read from Ghost. Just keeping his distance between him and Luma. Yeah, I, I just feel like Fawn's general game plan is actually really solid. He's just kind of, once he gets hit, though, he just... Under a lot of pressure. Using oh. Firefox to stall. Alright, he's gonna go for the jab at the ledge. Ooh. Wow, beautiful. That's that's gotta be ridiculously hard to tech. Uh yeah. If you I, can. I feel <laughs> like he also had Luma uh, positioned toward the ledge. Yeah. Like facing toward the ledge, so when the final jab actually ended, it knocked him towards the stage. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just like Luma's uh, jabbing in like a half hazard direction. So yeah, really good edge guard from falling, keeping up the pressure, making it very difficult for Ghost to approach without taking huge amounts of damage. Yes, this is a great adjustment coming out from Fallen. Yeah, and then upper, upper actually interrupting uh, the grab. Yeah, you gotta watch it, man. Uh, Rosa can actually intercept uh, two long grabs if you pummel too much with a hitbox. 
Might as well. At that point, it's better just go for the fourth, though, because it would have got rid of uh, Luma and got him off stage. Yes. All right, falling looking for a landing trap. Nice back air. Ooh. Okay, Ghost trying to make something happen here. Not able to get rid of Luma. That's going to be problematic. My Ghost able to get back center stage. Both players just checking each other's shields. Yeah. Fallen's just saying, I, I know you want to press a button first. I'm just going to shield and react uh, appropriately. All right, great recovery using the platforms once again to adjust the, the direction of the recovery. Might be looking for a full jab here, or the one, two, three with uh, Luma here. Oh, nice desync. Oh, right. and he's like oh. me too with the grab release. Nice positioning with the Luma here. He has to hold all of that. That's so hard to deal with on shield. And Luma just Force poking him out. Easy. Oh, wow. Just Riding up the, the side of the Smashville. Yeah, yeah. Just narrowly avoiding the down air. Yeah, good angle and uh, slightly um, mistimed from falling. Okay. Ghost looking for an opportunity. Fallen's just trying to maneuver around, but he drops shield in the last second. Great tech to avoid that up smash. Yeah, easy down smash uh, to punish the illusion there. Two um, stock for Fallen in yeah, game really two. Yeah, solid adjustment. Basically just walled out a lot of Ghost approaches. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel even even with uh, him losing that first game, I feel he was still playing it really well. Yeah, it was just that. one slight one one slight mistake that led to losing game one yeah. on that back air. The DI from the back air. Yeah, so Fallen just clean it up. Play to, uh, you know, the type of level that you come to expect. And we're going to Battlefield. All right. Uh, I imagine Fallen, I don't know, maybe Fallen just banned Town in this matchup. I don't think this is a terrible stage for Rosalina. Of course, she is also susceptible to the, uh, you know, Battlefield uh, up air ladders. Yes. But I feel like she also benefits from that same type of positioning uh, with, of the platforms. Well, Ghost making great use of dash attacks oh, as he desyncs Luma. Kind of there. Oh, Not able once to get the stage spike, though. Yeah, once again, they're just riding up the side of the stage and avoiding Fallen's down airs. All right, Ghost have an opportunity here. We'll go for the landing trap. All right, oh. Might have been a little bit too preemptive with that F smash. And now Fallen's going to get an opportunity here for some big damage. Back at the ledge, doesn't time his down tilt to beat out that illusion. Now goes ex gets exactly what he wants. Oh, very, very aggressive. Very aggressive. Overextending with the Firefox. Doesn't get punished for it. All right, he's trying to get rid of Luma. I think Luma was in enough tumble for him to go for back air to just knock it off stage, but went for too many up airs. Oh, oh. nice. Not going to be this stock, but the reaction there was actually incredibly. Uh, Great patience coming much. down from Ghost. Okay. Oh, gets the fastball fair. And down wow. air is going to connect for Fallen. So clean. Fair spike into the dare spike. No Luma necessary. Oh, another. And here we go ready. once again. Double. He's going to go for it again. There's a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. That's so much damage, even without the stock. Actually, wasn't that much damage. <laughs> I, I feel like 20 <laughs> is pretty damn good for, for all stages. For four soft hit down airs. Like, okay. Especially considering how early Rosalina can kill too. That's true. Oh he my did, goodness! The did uh, maintain his stock. Oh, this down still so good against Illusion. Hey. Forced to go high, mm -hmm. easy back air. Another easy edge guard here. Yes. Beautiful. That's the game. Beautiful double.